In this video, we're looking at how do we create sheet summary fields that are dynamic. So when, when I change one sheet summary field here, the rest of these fields also change and they go out to the, to the sheet and they grab the information that's associated that should be displayed in these fields. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. In my sheet, I have two projects listed here and this, these are my invoices coming in from my vendors. So these are my vendors. These are my invoice amounts. I could also have my invoice numbers here as well and then the amounts that they've paid in my sheet as well. And in my sheet summary, I wanna have uh, the different projects listed. And then when I change the project dropdown, you'll see that the values below it change uh, to reference that project, uh, the amounts that are in that project. So let's do that one more time. So you can tell my total invoice is $17 here, but if I wanna get my total invoice amount for my project one, I just click my dropdown, change it to project one, and then there are my totals. Now, so let's dive into the way this works. So the first thing that we did is we added a new field here called project. And this project is just simply a dropdown. So you can give it a name and then give it the values that you want and then say, okay. And that'll drop in the field for you. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that bad boy because I don't need it. Then I created a total invoice uh, field, total paid field and a total due field. And if you notice, these all have formulas in them. And one of the formulas that it references, these are all sum if formulas, the top two. So it takes a look at the invoice amount and it sums the invoice amount if the child column is uh, checked on. So let's look at the child column. So I have that column here hidden. So if I unhide this column, then we can look at the child. The child also has a formula for it. So if we look at the editing the column formula, then this formula says if the parent of the task at this row equals the project that's listed here, then check the checkbox on. If it doesn't, leave it checked off. It's pretty straightforward. So you can see that whenever my project one is listed here, I have all of the children of my project one checked on. So that way my total invoice looks for all of the children that are checked on, and then it grabs the invoice amount for those rows. And if I change this to project two, then you can see that the checkboxes flip over to the children of project two and all this information is associated with project two. Now, while this is one way to accomplish this, the other thing that I would recommend, especially if you have uh, many projects going on here, a lot, you know, a large list of projects, you might wanna create a separate sheet called a metric sheet. And that metric sheet would just come in and it would give all of us all of these total values on our metric sheet for each one of our projects. Now, while that's nice is because you can then take that metric sheet and you can put all those values in reports and dashboards and really, really uh, expand your use of Smartsheet.